Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you today, and sorry that my throat got a little scratchy. Uh, just something came up in my throat, um, because I was eating something, and it's just like, eh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm returning to you f for this Tuesday album review, and this is going to be a premiere video, uh, that is coming out. I'm recording this on the 4th, but I'm going to get it premiered sometime tomorrow afternoon for... The Season 5, Episode 21, for 30 Seconds to Mars is a Beautiful Lie, is the album I'm reviewing for their 2005 album that I got a chance to listen to again to see how I was going to think of it. So I'm going to discuss from tracks 1 to 12 what I listened to for all 12 songs of what I listened to. It includes the extra two tracks. Technically, it's a 10-track album, but there's two bonus tracks, Battle of One and Hunter, that I will be reviewing, too. So let's dive right into this Tuesday album review, uh, That, and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. So it starts with the opening track, Attack, and this is a personal favorite of mine. I really like the opening track. It starts off the album pretty well. Um... The electronics in it are pretty interesting, but also Jared Leto's vocals are really outstanding. This is where I liked 30 Seconds to Mars. This album is what sold me. Well, this album, of course, because I do have it on CD. Um, just the one with the rose and all that, that cover. Uh, basically, Attack had some pretty interesting lyrics, and I think it was well written. And just the way uh, Jared Leto was singing it sounded really good. So this is a 5 out of 5. A Beautiful Lie, the title track, is one of my personal favorites. It definitely rocks for sure. Um, it basically... Uh, I like the landscape that the music video... Where they made the music video is like in uh, Greenland or something like that. So it's... Uh, full of ice and all that. It's not Iceland, it's Greenland. Land, I meant to say. Um, so basically, it, it's a little different. Iceland is more of the grassy, cold area, but Greenland has a lot of the icicles and all that stuff. And pretty much, uh, like, ice and all that. So basically, it's much colder. Than Greenland or Iceland is colder or warmer than Greenland I meant to say so I'm getting it all mixed up <laughs> so basically I think Jared Leto's vocals were amazing in this track and just overall I think the landscape in the music video was outstanding and it really interested me with that music video it was a long music video but it was a really good song five out of five the Kill is one of my favorite tracks for this album. I think the beginning of this album was really outstanding. Uh, all the way to track 7 and then, you know, uh, it takes off from there. This album really took off in a really good way. And I think The Kill had some really good lyrics. They made the song and the music video pertaining about the Shining movie. And that was pretty interesting. Uh, what Jared Leto set that whole uh, place up and all that, and that hotel and all that. So it was a really interesting music video. Pretty weird, too, I can tell you that. But this is where I liked 30 Seconds to Mars and their direction they went in. So, 5 out of 5. Was It a Dream is a great song. Really enjoyed this track. I think overall... The song itself it has the rain coming in at the beginning of the track, and then it closes it out at the end. It's pretty interesting. Um, and it has it during the track some of the time. But overall, I think Jared Leto's vocals sound outstanding, and just the way the song is progressing, it sounds interesting. The verses are pretty ominous and pretty interesting and weird too, but sound good. It's a good weird kind of stuff, so 5 out of 5. The Fantasy is a great track. It starts off with regular guitar work, and 
It almost sounds like acoustic guitar work, but I'm not sure. Uh, but still, great song. It did pretty well. Shannon's drumming in this is outstanding, and also uh, Jared Leto's vocals are pretty outstanding. So, 5 out of 5. Savior is a pretty good song. Really like this one. Um, I did mention this track in a Crown the Empire album review for Dogma, saying that it sounded similar. I know uh, Labyrinth was trying to sound different for that Crown the Empire song that is on the album Dogma. It did sound in reference to this song a little bit. But I know it wasn't trying to be. So, uh, basically, this was a really good track. So, 5 out of 5. From Yesterday is a pretty amazing song. Really like this track for what it sounded like. So, uh, overall, Jared Leto's vocals are outstanding. And just the way the track is sounding. The music video is pretty weird. They make... Back in this time, in this era, like... Almost 20 years ago, this album was made. Keep that in mind. So, it's been quite a while. But overall, I think uh, From Yesterday is an outstanding track. So, this is a 5 out of 5. I like how Jared Leto's vocals sound in this track. And lyrically, it's well written. The story is an interesting song, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. It's a little slow. But it does try to get the job done a bit with what it's going for, but it's a good track, just not one of my favorites, so 4.5 out of 5. Re-Evolve, <clears throat> or R Evolve, or whatever, Revolve, I'm going to say Revolve, I'm not sure, it has R-Evolve, so basically... This is a great song. I really like this. It's the second to last song before you get to the closing track for the regular edition. And it is outstanding. So, I like how Jared Leto is singing in this song. And the overall drum work and guitar work is pretty good. Um, a modern a modern myth. I slurred with what I said. Um, this is a pretty interesting song. It is like 14 minutes of a track. Something like that, but it is pretty long, but it does execute pretty well, and it has a, like, silence for a while. It, like, goes silent for quite a while. The opening to it is with nice acoustic work, and just Jared Leto's uh, vocals sound really amazing in this song. Even to the ending to the track where the music comes back in. Like, it closes out the music and stops it for a while. Uh, for like the nine minutes or so. And then it goes back into more uh, music later on at like the 12 minute mark or something like that. So, basically you have to listen for yourself. But it is a very long song. It's hard to find this track on YouTube. I think you can, but it just, it depends, so, this is a 5 out of 5, Battle of One is a great track, it was on the Madden NFL 06 uh, video game, and it is pretty good of a song, and I really like this track, with how it sounded overall, so this is a 5 out of 5, then comes the closing track, Hunter, and this is an alright song, I, I mean, the Electronics take over this track a little too much, and I think it's okay. Uh, so this is a 4.5 out of 5. It's probably weaker than the story, but the story had something interesting going for it. This, on the other hand, was... Eh, it was solid. It wasn't great. Just the electronics took over too much with this song, and that was my biggest underlying issue with the track. Everything else about the song is not bad. Uh, so, yeah, 4.5 out of 5 for the closing track, Hunter. Overall, production mixing and execution-wise, I found myself really enjoying this uh, 30 Seconds to Mars, A Beautiful Lie album. One of their best albums. 
that I've listened to in their discography. I think when I reviewed the first album, I gave it a good score, too. And this is going to get a really good score, too. So for a score for me, I'm giving 30 Seconds to Mars A Beautiful Lie for this 2005 album a 9 out of 10. This is a really rocking album. Um, really enjoyed it. And I had a good time listening to it. Um, I did not hate a lot of tracks. Only maybe two songs were my least favorites. But other than that, 10 out of 12 songs were pretty outstanding. So... Sorry about my yawning, just a little tired today. So, 9 out of 10 for 30 Seconds to Mars is a beautiful lie album. Thank you for watching this Tuesday album review for Season 5, Episode 21. The final episode is next Tuesday, so definitely tune into that one. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.